Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. We recently took a little field trip to see what's left of a little town out on the Colorado prairie. At its peak, Kyoto was home to 140 people. Families moved here to take advantage of the Homestead Act of 1862. Build a house, work the land, stay five years, and you get 160 acres to call your own. But the semi-arid climate of eastern Colorado proved to be a real challenge. The Great Depression, the Dust Bowl years piled on. After decades of struggle, the families sold out and moved on. So now there's just a yellow house over here, the rusty water tower up the hill, the dilapidated church, and the crumbling general store. It's one thing to see photos in a museum, but when you walk on these sidewalks and touch the red bricks, it takes on a deeper reality. Couples were married in that church, children played in these yards, farmers griped about the weather in this store. But the climate, both atmospheric and economic, brought it all to an end which is fittingly ironic since the word Kyoto literally means the fire has gone out. Long ago, families risked their lives to come to America. They planted wheat, raised children, and built a nation. They had escaped the dreadful climate where government dictates what you should believe and how you should act, and that's why they placed religious freedom in the Constitution as a precious gift to us. But today, nine justices on the Supreme Court are considering whether to redefine marriage. If they do, the climate for Christians will dramatically change. In that environment, you may be free to believe what you want, but you'll be forced to act according to what the government believes. So this is a time to pray. Pray for wisdom, pray for courage, pray that the bright flame of freedom will never go out. And then, be prepared to act.